We're here at the Giga Home Roadmap Conference. You were on stage. What are you talking about? So I was talking, um, well, I had a trick title. The trick title was how to do AI. But what I was really talking about is crowd labor. Crowd labor is uh, crowdsourcing information work for pay. And by doing so, you're able to get machine applications that build on human intelligence. So it said PhD in your title. Yeah. What do you do at the PhD? So my, uh, my PhD is in machine learning and natural language processing. Computer science was the department. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I consult. I used to be an academic. Now I consult to organizations. I help them solve their data science problems, taking data and turning it into value. Increasingly, as part of my practice, I've been using crowd labor as parts of my uh, uh, to, 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 to generate high-quality results. So it's a combination of AI in the code, in the computer, yeah. in the processing power, yeah. and crowd, just people, real yes. people. Yes. So how much is which and which, and for what? Well, so what I typically do on a day-to-day -day basis is I use crowds to train my machine learning. But in investigating this space, Giga Ohm said to me, they were like, you know, are there any emerging markets that you think are really exciting? I said, this crowd labor thing I think is going to be a big deal. I've been doing research on this space, and people are doing some, some very sophisticated things with crowd labor nowadays. So you work at Giga Ohm. Well, I, I started my own consultancy, and I'm part of the Giga Ohm Pro Analyst Network. So does that mean articles, research papers? What does it mean? Um, so I wrote uh, a report for them on crowd labor. If you're a Giga Ohm Pro subscriber, you can see it. That was the first thing I did for them. I'm, on a day-to-day -day basis, I hustle my consultant. And the PhD was not a long time ago, right? My PhD was in 2007, so five years ago. I don't know if that's a long time for and you. And you hear here, Aaron here? I live in New York City, but I might be coming to San Francisco. So what do you think about Google Plus? Shouldn't uh, they improve it with the uh, automatic uh, recommendations engines and stuff so you, the content is easier to find? I mean, what they need to fix is adoption. I use Google Plus because I know a lot of people in technology and in academia that are on it, and I like to be able to engage them without any noise. But on the other hand, a lot of my social friends are not on Google Plus. And for that reason, I don't really care how good the technology is if my friends aren't there. Yeah, all the normal Facebook people should get on. Yeah. You need to have an export Facebook to Google Plus button. There needs to be an export Facebook to anything button. All right. Cool. So what are you looking forward to? Um, in my life? Yeah, in the uh, technology world. Oh, in the technology world. Um, I'm excited about... Um, I'm excited about mobile become... I, in general, I'm excited about things becoming more usable and more accessible. Uh, I think artificial intelligence is one part of that. I think mobile is another part of it. I think the important thing is, well, I don't really, like, even though I'm a technologist, I don't really like gizmos. I want technology to be as naturally integrated with our lives as possible. And that's the sort of thing that excites me.